welcome to Adventures. Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah, so today we're going to talk about how thankful we are for this year and how we've been crushing it in 2020 because we felt like we've been doing a lot of amazing things and we are so grateful and feel so blessed for that. And God has been doing a lot of amazing things in our lives. And we want to share that with you. So I hope you guys are having a great time. Uh, hopefully you got to get out to uh, visit your families and whatnot. Unfortunately, we spent our Thanksgiving on Interstate 10 all the way across uh, Texas. Good mm -hmm. times, but we got to keep the packages moving for you. That's right. So if you don't know who we are, we are Simple Live-In, husband and wife, team truck driver, best known for making our semi into a micro tiny house. Because like he said, we live in this thing and we go through the holidays and life just keeps happening. So we try to bring the comforts of home into our truck. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, all we are up to, and stay tuned for all of the adventures. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is the worst year ever, their life totally sucks, they're ready for 2020 to be over, they are just like not happy, not feeling it, and um, I mean I guess we can kind of like look back and pass and we can understand where they're coming from because what is it like 80% of America lives paycheck to paycheck and are struggling financially and that is one of the top tiers that when that crumbles so does everything else so and also know that a lot of divorces are caused 50% uh, of marriages today end in divorce and most of those are caused by financial fights money arguments yeah so, you can understand that, right? Mm, I can. If this I, was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was $200,000 plus in debt, had truck yeah. payments, car payments, two motorcycle payments. Um, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Yeah, but you guys know from watching our story, if you've missed it, make sure you catch those. There is a place to list of our stories. Catch that playlist. And we talk about how we've been able to overcome some of those obstacles, that we are completely debt-free, and we've been doing really well. And because we set ourselves up that way, 2020, like, when everything started going crazy and America started shutting down, it really didn't affect us because, one, we had savings. Two, we are debt-free. So even if we would have had to like shut down and we wouldn't have been able to work then we still would have been okay for uh, some time until things started opening back up and then also we like to live a more of a like homestead ish lifestyle even though we're truck drivers I know that sounds crazy but we can our food we freeze our meat and we do things like that so even when the grocery store shelves were empty we were still all right like we still had food good that quality food. that toilet paper thing was a problem I will tell you well, I mean, most of the time we get to use other people's toilet paper, so... Oh, pee pee! <laughs> yeah! Oh, pee -pee. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, but, Lily Girl wants to come say hi. But a lot of times they don't have very good toilet paper. That's true, that is true. But after the pandemic shut down thing, we were kind of grateful because as truck drivers, we were on the front line and we worked like crazy. Um, we've been able to earn extra money this year because of that, but the highways were empty! <gasps> yes! Like, right now, there's really hardly a such thing as rush hour traffic anymore. Like, coming traffic coming to a screeching halt. It doesn't really happen. Like, there's heavy traffic. She can roll through D.C. at 5.30 in the morning and not hardly hit the brakes, which is... Unheard of. Unheard of. Yeah, it's great. So, we are really thankful for that. So, then, as June came along, we were like, let's step out of the truck and work our businesses because you guys know that we're working into being self-employed knew that we were going to be selling celebrating our anniversary so we had an amazing trip celebrating our 10-year anniversary and that was awesome yeah sailboat mm, yeah it was a good time it was awesome and then we took some more time off and we went to go visit the grandbabies and we went to indiana and just took time for ourselves and then we started crushing it with the food truck yep so we got, we got really hard after the food truck and got that up and running and I think we've we've come up with a pretty good product that a lot of people like. Yeah, a lot of people are liking the barbecue. So we find that it's going to be really successful. And uh, then we closed up shop because we don't want to work our food truck in the winter time. So long term we want to go on an RV and like adventure and see the places that we've seen with the truck but we haven't been able to enjoy them because we have to keep moving because 
y'all want your packages like tomorrow I mean yesterday or something I don't know so we want to be able to go over the road in our RV that we're gonna build into a mansion compared to this semi it's not gonna be micro to me anymore but a lot of you call it tiny living for us it's gonna be kind of luxurious um, so we're gonna build out our RV and then go travel but until we can like get our businesses to support us full-time out of eight months then we'll hop in the truck sometimes so that's why this winter we built the food truck cash flowed all of that now we're back in the semi making bank and then in the springtime we'll go out and start the lawn care and the food truck and things like that but other things you can look forward to in the future and that'll be a whole nother set of videos on because we're taking this RV from factory beautiful to well, not really factory beautiful factory <laughs> no it's like a 1997 right factory beautiful to uh, <laughs> make it our own and it's gonna need some work and that's gonna be a whole nother set of videos that you can follow us on so make sure you subscribe so you get notified yeah it's gonna be fun we have big plans like beautiful plans it's gonna look amazing if you see anybody moving 55 miles an hour down the interstate it might a be custom down. paint job it may be her <laughs> <laughs> but then also other things you can look forward to is one thing that's been put on our heart is helping other people get their finances under control so that way when things like the pandemic happen or crisis happen in life just life happen that they too can be fine with it so we're going to be coming up with our own financial curriculum in the future and then also a curriculum of how to start your own businesses because now we've started three businesses successfully that we have ourselves and we're making money from them and they're all within three years uh in the go green so we want to be able to help you and teach you those things as well so make sure you stay tuned and that's why you said subscribe so you can make sure that you catch those things and all of that information so you can also just be crushing it and you can be going forward and not being like a typical american you can just be doing your own thing and being successful and really truly and enjoying life and that's another thing through the pandemic that we're kind of thankful for is so many people like in america just like they know their choice but to stop and focus on what's important god and family and things like that so we are so thankful that so many of you were able to have that opportunity yeah and our fur baby she's a great fur baby she teaches us what real grace forgiveness and love looks like mm -hmm. she's good at that she's a great teacher look she's smiling she knows it but all right guys so that's what we're thankful for. What are you guys thankful for? Comment below. Tell us a few things you're thankful for. Or if you have some questions and you already want to know some answers, hopefully we can help you. Go over to Facebook, Instagram, and hit us up over there where it's a little bit easier to send messages back and forth. All right, guys. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy the adventures.